Yeah. Right, hi everybody and welcome to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. As you can see, I'm back out on the hills and uh, yeah, I'm doing a nice 15k loop and I've headed off just uh, from Woolak Common, parked down there and I'm on the same cuff that's way, uh, just following that along and uh, I've got to Gaines Law at the minute, I just come off track because I wanted to come up here and check it for a future camp. As you can see, it's quite heavy up here. Not much room next to the trig. I'll check down there and across that way a bit. There's some rocks over there, it looks all right. And then there's another patch just at the other end there. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So you've got um, a hill fort over there. That's, I can't remember the name, it's a funny old name. I think that's it in any rate. And uh, yeah. I'll be uh, going and checking that out some other day. As you can see, you can see right over onto the east coast. You can see the sea from here. Some lovely views. All right. And then, here we go. That's, that's basically where I'm heading in that direction. And I'm going to be stopping at, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember the name. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take five minutes here and then I'm going to get some drinks and things, get a little snack and then I'm going to push on and I've, 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 I've earmarked me walk because I want to stop I've been talking to people as well I was talking to two old ladies, well not they're not old ladies mature ladies and they're 68s and they've been out yomping all over the hills and all that as well so uh, I doubt they'll be watching but if you are, hello ladies they give us a lesson on how to use walking sticks <laughs> I'm out using sticks for the first time um, I had them too low and I wasn't synchronising them properly with my legs so I got a quick lesson off this lady on how to do it so happy days and I'll tell you what, what an improvement it is coming up them hills like uh, much better but anyway, waffle waffle right well I've just come off the trig and this is a like big footpath and this is about the only part that isn't covered in heather obviously you've got some uh, firing butts from here look so we're coming here out the wind so I can get it when we're burgering on Ding 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 That's what they do <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, there's nowhere to camp up here like But I thought I'd hit that trigger anyway and get it knocked off the list But as you can see, in the distance, we've got Hedgehop Okay, you've got um, the Cheviot And uh, oh, I can't remember what that's called now, A Cup Corn or something like that I, I don't know, I can't pronounce it properly Just on the other side there and uh, yeah, lovely. But that hill fort looks canny, so I might give that a bash one day. That's a nice, easy little one to get to. And uh, yeah, I think this is the way I went on my route up to Easter Tour. But anyway, I'm going to push on because I've had a drink and things. The wind's starting to pick up, so I might have to add me uh, my microphone on. And uh, yeah. I will see you later.
Do I look like a professional stick walker? <laughs> eh? It's like, well, it's much better. Woohoo! Right, well, I've just stopped for a, um, a little bite to eat. I've just been talking to a lad called John and a lass called Kat. John's from Germany and Kat was from Edinburgh. They're doing the same cuffbats way. So they're just heading into Wulla. Go and get some food. And I brought some snacks with us. Snacks. So I've got a, um, a nice ham salad sandwich, a couple of cakes. But I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to have the... Um, so I've got, it's, um, oh God, I can't remember the name of it. It's got toffee and chocolate and biscuit in. And then I've got like a cereal bar, chocolate biscuit cake type thing. But what I'm going to have is the pie. And then I'm going to have some fluids. I was going to make a cup of tea, but I just kind of be bothered to get all this stuff out. So I've got a nice homemade mince pie. Um, it's a local, like, food shop that um, a friend of mine I used to work with owns so I went in there and bought some stuff rather than going to Greg's so Greg's is just too expensive like whereas the sandwich the two cakes the pie it only costs us about seven quid or something eight quid so happy days oh god oh that is so good that is my future stop off place to get mince pie before I come Look at that, look at the size of this man. Look at the size of this. Chunk ears out, lovely, homemade, fresh, freshly made, absolutely superb. second detour out of the day I've just come from up the top there I've just come through that little bit of marsh like it's a bit boggy there like and I'm supposed to wang a left and follow the path all the way up there and all the way over to that side but I'm going up here to Tom Claddy's uh, crags I think it's called it's supposed to have some amazing views so it's about half a mile up the road I believe so we're just going to push on up there and then double back and uh, when I get there, I'll bring us back and let's see if it's worth that extra mile and a bit. Right, well, I've cocked up. I've come up on the wrong side of the wall. The crags are just there. And another thing I've mucked up on is, there's a big herd, oh, my sight. There's a big herd of cows down there. And I, so I need to get myself out of this field. And uh, I think I'll just give it a rest because I'm not going to go all the way back down into the bottom of the valley and then walk all the way back up that way to Gantwit. So I know the views are going to be spectacular because look at the views from here. But that's the junction there where I had to turn turn left. So I'm just going to go route direct straight down. There's a track all the way down the bottom there going out. So that's happy days. So I'll just head straight down here. Keep away from them lot over there because that all the deeks in there is now. Some of them are more than stood up. And then I've got to head um, down to that junction, down the bottom there, and then up that path around into the valley. And then up there, I think. <laughs> <sighs> it's 
So I've just walked all the way here and not got to see the bit that I want to see because I've come on the wrong side of the wall. Devastated. And I don't really want to try climbing over because um, you can see there's way iron and everything and I'm walking about to climb over there and hurt myself or damage the farmer's property so that's just not on me and I can't see any little steps over there again there again he has one here so if I can get onto there and get over then happy days because that looks like that's put there for a reason and then I can just bail straight across up to them which is like little shooting fences and that's where the crags is over there so I'll give that a go and see it's not electric <laughs> not really but anyway yeah I'll give that a go and if I can get over happy days like happy days right well that just wasn't happening at all like um, it's like trying to get over a bob wire security fence it, like pushes out over away from the wall we had me pack on and me little bag around my waist it was just too much and I felt like I was going to do some damage to the property like and that's just not what I want to do at all so now what I'm doing is I'm just heading root, root direct straight down to that path and then follow it along back down to where I need to be instead of going right well that's me back up on the top nearly so spin is around so we can pick the cows up there but just over about five five fingers over from where the cows are there's the crag thing that I wanted to be in up there. I'm absolutely devastated, so close, but yet so far away. Looks like there's a, uh, like a trig point a bit further along and all, about a couple of hundred meters. So I'll have to make that admission one day just to come out and check that out. But uh, I'm following this track all the way along and around, round up onto the top there, I think, in the far distance. Um, the full length that I've got left to do is still about 8Ks, that's to get back to the car. Obviously I'm not doing that, I've got about, I'll say about another 4Ks to do, to get there. So, happy days like. Uh, it's now 10 past 3, so I've still got bags of time, like absolutely bags of time. And I'll tell you one thing, using them sticks, what a difference that makes. If you haven't used walking sticks before, like care. Uh, you know, I've trekking poles before, I seriously suggest doing it like because I'm feeling the benefits out of it straight away, especially on my knees. Alright, the boots are doing okay, there's a couple of little hot spots starting with here, so I'll probably stop the next half an hour um, if I keep on going and uh, I'll get them sorted. But it's mainly down here and around the top of the ankle, um, so I'll see how that goes. Absolutely tons of bees around, which is good to see as well, because it means the land's getting sorted. So happy days, and anyway, I'm waffling, season a bit. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mountain. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. Right, well, that's me out of that little valley there. So, obviously, the, the track you can see in the distance, I come down there, 
up through the farm down the back of it and i went over a little um ford didn't have to go through there i had to go over a little bit so i had to backtrack there because i had went up the hill a little bit uh, i just put a little bit of footage on of the ford and things and the bridge as i talk about it and uh as i come down the track i thought was following the right track and it was taking us around the outer side of that little bit of tree uh, plantation there that was wrong i was following the um the track that instead of looking out there's posts in the ground with the signs up the yellow signs for uh, showing you a proper track so if you come up this way in the future and uh, just make sure you look out for them it's basically just at the top hand side of this uh, black patch here and it comes up here and i'm heading straight over here and then looping a the left round as you can see we're coming back into view of all the big hills now and uh I think that's called low over there, I'm not 100% sure, I think it is. That one with the trig on the top. I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick that up. But anyway, I'm walking up here. I've lost one of the things on me um, walking stick. So, because my walking stick really went right into the ground on one part. But uh, yeah, um, time's ticking on now, it's quarter past four. This has been a, a harder and longer walk than what I thought. But then again, I've had a couple of detours to different places. I've stopped for a dinner break and uh, I've took a couple of wrong turns like do you know you just keep following your nose instead of looking at the map when you come to junctions and things right well excuse the daft angle because I've got you lanced up in me um, in me Bergen straps but uh, this has been tough going this as you can see I've got a sheep pen there there's the track there but, uh, I've come all the way down from up the top there it's all been like this all the way down so if it hadn't been for these sticks i think i would have been on my arse about five times six times and twisted ankles so I'm definitely going to start bringing sticks out all the time but uh yeah still got a bit to go wow what a lovely little place to live in the middle of nowhere so just found the way mark i'm looking for so i've just come from up that direction there I think I'm heading back the way I'm walking, like. Yeah, you've got all these way markers here and everywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm heading down there. I think that's where I'm heading. Up there. That looks like the hill I'm going to. I tell you what, this is a lot tougher than what I thought it was going to be. But I'm just hoping I've got a bit of road uh, walking now. Because going across all this cross country like this, it's not going to... And I'm losing bits of me sticks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go on anyway, let's push on. Right, well, from that little house I've walked down the track and now I'm heading down this little steep embankment onto that bridge. So excuse any camera uh, movements because the camera is on my side of me Bergen. Oh, side of me pack, sorry. But uh, i tell you what, my knees have had knee bother I'll do it because of using these air uh, sticks. So that's a win-win situation for me. Right. Um, I've got to head over this bridge, up round the back of the woods, through some woodland, then up another hill, and then hopefully I shall be at home for tonight. But yeah, nice little valley. Oh. <laughs> Little shippies, nice little stream, and there's notices up on these um, gates saying that there's going to be low flying helicopters coming around sometime this month and spraying all the um, what do you call it? What's it say here? Spraying prior notification of the spraying of Bracklin and by helicopters. Advise that we will be operating in this area within the next few days between mid July and the end of August 2023. All chemicals are approved for application from the air. Bloody Nora. That's how they're dating this part of the world. Now you wait. Up and over. Season a bit. I took a wrong turn before, instead of coming in the main track where the gate was, I just missed it because I had my head down. I ended up following the fire, uh, the farmer's tracks, I ended up right over there, so I've had to double back 
about four or five hundred meters and then come down through here so i'm now walking down through some woods into the valley and fingers crossed there should be a little footbridge down the bottom here to get over the stream and then i'm heading up 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 and away <laughs> oh yeah been loads of brackland in that lake oh bloody tick city look but here it is opening up phone's died <laughs> My phone's died on this, so I'm, I'm I'm on the paper map now. Hence why you bring a paper map with you. My um, power bank and everything's buried inside my Bergen, so I'm just uh, doing it by paper map now. That's on the side of my pack. So anyway, I'm going to shoot off. So I've got to fight my way through all this jungle. Right, well, as you can see, I've gained a bit of elevation. Uh, streams straight away down there. Oh, I'll come up here and somewhere up the top of here, underneath them dark clouds, is Watch Hill. And uh, yeah, whoo, I am actually hanging. But uh, there's a lovely view from here. But I, I'm not camping here, like. <laughs> I just thought I'd quickly stop and show you. But I am absolutely hanging. I think if I had to come on a route around the other side of the hill, it would have been easier to get to. Um, if the bracklin and all the bushes and all are like this all the way up it on this side I'm going to have to take a big detour about about a mile and do like a loop around the back of it on a track and then come in that way over another hill um, I think that's what it looks like on the map in any way but fingers crossed there might be a little track leading up to it a little footpath leading up to it but uh, I'm just going to get some fluids and I'm going to push on half past five I'm about half an hour behind schedule now because of all the detours I've taken things and well, about an hour and a half actually I'm behind. So anyway, I think there's been a lot of waffles so far in this video and uh, I haven't even started camping yet. So anyway, now it's dead dry, sticky, so that's telling me I definitely need more fluids down my neck. See you in a bit. Right, well that's the direction I've come. <laughs> there's Watch Hill there, where them crags and that are. So I'm just going to wang it up here, over that fence, and just follow it all the way up. Um, still a kind of little hike, like. God. Now I've been seeing that all the way around on my walk, and there's a track comes around the back of it up there. I could have easily have took, and it would have saved me about an hour and a half of walking. I just wish I had read my maps properly and seen that, and I would have done that. But I've enjoyed that, because it's made us see things that I've never seen before, and places I've never been. So... Yeah, happy days. Happy days indeed. Right, well, that's me finally up on the summit of where I want to be. It's a little bit breezy, but not too bad. My Bergen's right down the bottom there. That route up was a killer, like. I couldn't even be bothered to get my camera out and show you, but I was up the knee height and uh, undergrowth and everything, and uh, it was hard going, like. I'm just coming over to this far side just to have a look and see what the view is over here. Obviously the wind's coming from this direction, so I need to be over the other side to be honest. But yeah, I think this is the place I've been looking at all the time. So there, that's the views from up here. Sorry about the wind noise, I haven't got my microphone on yet. I should put it on late, I think it's in my chest pack, so I'll get it sorted. But yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I think over there is going to be my best pitch, looking over that direction, get a nice view. There's some decent views here, but I don't want to be facing into the wind. There's an out there. I'm going to head back up there. And I think I'll just camp over here. And, uh, yeah. I've got some sheep for company. Doris? Which one's Doris? Hello, Doris? No, she must be out. She must be on another hill. <laughs> right, it's um, six o'clock on the nose. I am absolutely puggered. My feet are feeling a bit hot and sweaty and a little bit sore on the tops of my uh, big toes. So as soon as I get set up, the boots will be coming off. I might even get to be able to get the grown up. It's not that way. It's got a bit of a breeze like, but it's not too bad. So fingers crossed. Um, I'll be able to get the, get the drone up like. Well that's 
that's me uh, finally set up then. I've still got a couple of little tweaks to do on the tent, but other than that, it's all right. It's quite, quite blowy. The, the wind's coming from the back of the tent. So I think I've pitched it in the wrong direction to be quite honest, but it's, it's all right. It's doing, it's doing its job. But as you can see, I've got my table set up. One of them Jack Daniels is going to be getting open soon. And uh, yeah, sky's opening lovely for a nice sunset. I've put my microphone on because it's windy here. So anyway, let's have a quick look. So I've got the drone out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be getting that up for a fly. So I've got my Firmarest mattress in its Firmarest chair in the back compartment. I've got my Bergen and my little pack that I wear on my, on my waist. Over in that corner, I've got my um, free season mountain equipment, Firefly, I think it's equipment, um, Firefly sleeping bag, which is free season, a pillar. I've got a down jacket and some other little bits and pieces, spare socks and things to put on. Inside this part, this is what I'm not happy about. This is flapping quite a bit, like, I just don't think it's set properly. It's not normally like that. But uh, and anyway, inside here, I've got a nice ham salad sandwich and a couple of cakes that I didn't eat. And then in the back one, I've got some noodles and some pilchards and another pack of noodles and some sardines. This is my electric kit. I'm busy phoning me, uh, charging my phone and a battery because they're both dead. On this side, obviously, I've got my map. I'll show you a little bit on the map later on. Bottle of water I've just refilled, and I've got all that water there. Two Jack Daniels, my cooking system. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to have anything hot today, like, because I'm not really feeling the, feeling the vibes for that. But, yeah, I tried something different with the ground sheet. I actually attached it to the bottom of the tent. Um, I think it's worked. I'm not really sure. I think there's more cover at the back cent back end and where it is at the front. But uh, I've got this little mat in any rate. And I'm going to pull the chair out and sit on here soon. But uh, when you're behind the tent, it's okay. Like, it's um, it's turned out nice again. It's, I think it's got a little bit of a breeze. So what we're going to do is, I've got a new little toy. I've went and bought one of these. So this is a, what's it called again? A sky watch so about 50 quid like but I thought I'm, I'm coming up the hills a lot and I'm always guesstimating what this, uh, the wind is and things like that so I thought I'd buy one of these so I'm going to switch it on so that's it switched on and at the minute it's picking up at uh, 2.3.8 or something so there you go right so what I'm going to do is oh, see what this wind speed is so it's 10, 10 miles an hour. So that's not bad, is it? Yeah, I've been up and worse. So I, lovely jubbly. So I, a new little toy. And it tells you um, the wind fact, chill factor, tells you the temperature and everything. So nice little, nice little gadget. Yeah, I decided I wanted to come out and do a hike the day because I had all day. And uh, I got up here for about 12, half 12. It's took us nearly six hours to do it. My feet are a bit sore. I think I've got a few hot spots off these boots and my socks feel a bit sweaty as well. I never have that problem in my leather boots. But uh, at any rate, I'm gonna have a drink. I'm gonna chill out for half an hour and I'm gonna try and get the drone up as well. So hopefully you'll be seeing a bit of drone footage. Cheers, everybody. Well, right, well, time's ticking now. It's now quarter past eight in the evening. Um, I think we've got about another 20, 30 minutes before I get the sunset layer time lapse going. I'll just pork you over the top of the tent. As you can see, it's, it's starting to get there, but I think it's a bit too early to hide the camera on just yet. I'm hoping some of them clouds disappear as well, like, so we'll get a nice one. But I think it, it, it'll go down behind the hills quite nicely, like. Um, I don't know if I've just said it before, like, but um, I've just had the drone up. Uh, I've got a few warnings, like, but I just ignored them. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's recorded properly. I've done a few different shots that I've never tried before, uh, like quick shots and things. So fingers crossed, we'll get a little nice little few uh, bits of footage off the drone. Um, I'm still drinking my first Jack Daniels. I'm just taking my time because I've only got the two of them. I really wish I had a brought more. 
But uh, it's bl I feel bloody cold tonight. I tell you what, my buffalo. I've got a. This is a reasonably thick down jacket on. I've only got my t-shirt underneath, like so. I might put a couple of layers on underneath there, like a couple of wind blockers and things. And uh, obviously, I'm sitting here, and I've got me back to the wind. So, but obviously, I've got a lovely view in front of us down down into the valley and that, and looking over to the sea. All right, but I want to watch that. And that means I've got to kneel and sit and look over the top of the tent or sit in the actual wind. But, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> I had my ham salad sandwich and I'll tell you what, it was absolutely tremendous. I think I definitely will be having some noodles later on. Um, just a, a warm a warm meal before I go to sleep tonight. Uh, like I say, it's about quarter past eight in, in the evening now. I've just been talking to Andy on the phone before. He's he's just over there. He's just down from the trig lake on cold law. So we've been communicating with each other a little bit over the last last couple of weeks. And I was spoke to each other yesterday. And he says he was going to go there and I was coming here. And um, yeah. So we're going to get with head torches and flash flashlights at each other later on. <laughs> I think uh, I think he's had I think he, I think he's had a few tinnies already, and he's just sitting chilling. I've just messaged him. He's just sitting chilling, watching the sunset. He, I don't think he's putting his drone up. I've just risked me like because I'm sick of bringing it out and not using it. So I thought I'd give it a go. I'm still not great at manoeuvring it. Like I, I'm too too heavy-handed. But we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. I've got some footage on the SIM card. I think I put a SIM card in it. <laughs> I, I, I think I have. And anyway, I hope I have. But uh, yeah. Well then, what an amazing sunset that was. Wow, I kept my camera going as long as the battery lived like, um, and that was truly spectacular. Well worth that long yomp today into here. Uh, I think I must have covered about 8Ks. I haven't looked at my phone properly yet because it's still charging. I took some amazing photographs as well. Like, um, truly one of the best sun, uh, sunsets I've had for quite a long time. I, you can possibly still see it in the background there now, like the, the last elements of it going, going down and down and down. 
It has got coals. I have added some extra um, layers. It's 20 to 10 at night. So I've ended up putting on my other t-shirt on top of my sweaty t-shirt. And I've got this here. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Like it's from TRC Outdoors. It's a very thin, very, very thin silk top. And I'll tell you what, like what a difference. And obviously I've put my head over on. Right. Smells lush because it's just being washed. But I'm uh, I'm closely warm now. I've got me booties on and I've got me leg war uh, me what do you call it softy trousers on as well. I'm on my last Jack Daniels. Um I'm gonna be um doing a bit of a communication with a young gentleman that's over there on um cold law. We're gonna be flashing torches at each other. The Mackham um Mountaineer he's called it. Yeah, Mackham Mountaineer. So he's over there, he's been sitting chillaxing, watching the uh, sunset as well. And it has been absolutely amazing. Like, I was well chuffed with it, me. Well chuffed with it. But yeah, happy days, like, happy days indeed. So anyway, cheers everybody. Thanks for watching all my videos and all the comments. Right, well, that's me all packed up. That was a perfect sunrise at like, really enjoyed it. A great night, a great day yesterday, even though I was in a bit of pain. These boots are feeling sore already on the tops of me big toes before I even start walking. Feels like there's something digging in them. Um, so I just had to get used to them anyway. But anyway, before I leave, as always, leave no trace, just a bit of flat ground, no kit lying around, no pegs or anything. Andy's away. Wave bye bye Andy. <laughs> he's awake because he's been to work. Right, well, I'm going to leave me softy jacket on and me hat on because it is freezing this morning and it's kind of windy. And I've got to head all the way back down to the bottom there and then follow that track all the way along through a couple of little valleys, through the woodland, I think, and then back up around that way, I think. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get my map out when I get down the bottom because uh, that's part of my route. So, I've got roughly about three and a half K, four K left to do this morning. And uh, I'll bring you along for bits and pieces of it. But I need to get off this hill because it's bloody freezing without the tent behind you. And uh, we wait, thanks, I'll catch you in a bit. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Right, well, hi everybody. That's me now back at the car. So uh, I'm just gonna place these down because I need to set my ass down. Yeah, um, that wasn't too bad coming back. 
when I got to the bottom of the hill, I had to um, sort my boots out because I was getting loads of rubs on the ankle and on the lower part of my foot. Excuse this fat belly, I'm just going to get my, my uh, stuff off as I'm taught it is. Yeah, that was an adventure and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, yesterday was a bit hard going, it was harder than what I thought it was going to be and uh, last night's pitch was spot on. The sunset and the sunrise was amazing. Um, it was a bit cold up there this morning and a bit windy, but as soon as I got down onto the bottom of the valley, it was sounds a pound. But uh, I'm going to have a can of pop. These boots, the jury's not out with these yet, like, because I'm getting a lot of rubbing on the tops of my ankles and things and at the, the top of my big toe. So I don't know if it's because I'm pulling the laces too tight or not. But anyway, nice can of Pepsi. Yeah, um, I don't think I recorded that much last night. That ham salad sandwich was a, a, a bonus having that. I didn't cook any hot food at all. Um, I just ate what I bought. So I've carried two packets of noodles and some pilchards and some sardines for no reason at all. But they'll do for the next time. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed being back out in the hills again. Probably be back in the woods next time again with uh, Rooney or possibly on a bike bike camp or a coastal camp or something. Um, or possibly in the woods with uh, another group of fellow YouTubers and just people that I know. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully it doesn't drag on too long as well because there was a lot of walking yesterday. I just wanted to get out and do a good walk and I can't I haven't got time to do it today. So that's why I done it at the beginning. So anyway, thanks everybody. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. And uh, have a nice week. I'll see you next Sunday.